Hey guys, it's Dragon from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about Muse Animate, one of the coolest widgets for adding animations to your Muse projects. Muse Animate enables you to give entrance and exit animations to any element you wish, whether it's an image, button, text, anything. It's creatively built so it won't slow down your Muse websites, it's super fast and it has lots and lots of animations available. And basically how it works, you have the Muse Animate engine over here, that's the main widget that runs all the effects, and you have the Animate block, and you can see that's the little one, which lets you assign individual effects to your elements. So let's drag them on the canvas, close this, and as you can see we have the engine and the block. They even have this cool design, they go one with another as you can see. And you can put as many Muse Animate blocks as you wish, while you'll need only one engine. And let's see how it works. I'll draw a rectangle over here, I'll also add some text over here, and let's add an image. Ok, now let's say I want this to appear first and to slide out of my page, and then I want my text and my image to appear right after that. To give animation to any element, first you have to give that element a style, a graphic style. So click on the element, then click on graphic styles and let's give it a style, a new one. Let's call this my rectangle. Now to animate this element, we're gonna target it through the animate block and you'll see how easy it is. So simply click on the settings and here you have to type the graphic style name that you just created. So it's my rectangle. Press enter and now we can choose an animation to assign to our rectangle. Let's make it fade out and let's make it fade out to the left. You can set the animation duration and delay. So let's say it'll take our rectangle one second to exit our screen and let's say this will happen after five seconds. Ok, maybe three seconds, better. Ok, now let's animate the text. Click on graphic styles, let's call it my text. Now you can see how easy it is to chain the animation blocks. Simply duplicate the block and type in the new graphic style name, my text, and let's make it fade in. Now remember that we gave our rectangle a delay of three seconds, so the widget remembered it over here. And let's say after three and five seconds, we want our text to fade in and the animation should also last one second. And finally, we'll give the image a graphic style as well, let's call it my image. You don't have to call everything my image, my rectangle, you can choose these names. And in our animation, create another block over here and for my image, let's say we want our image to come in from the right side, so let's say fade in right big. You have the regular and the big version of fading. So fade in right big means that the image will fade in from right and the image will fade in from far right. And let's make this happen at 3.8 seconds. And also let's make the animation last for 2 seconds. Ok, so now we told our rectangle to fade out to the left after 3 seconds, then we told our text to fade in after 3.5 seconds and then we told our image to fade in from the right after 3.8 seconds. So let's see how that plays out in the preview. I accidentally gave the rectangle the fade in effect instead of the fade out, so fade out left big and let's preview. So we have the rectangle, it goes out, here we have the text and here comes the image. Cool right? Now your only limit is your creativity. As I said, the widget will work super fast, it won't slow down your Muse site and I encourage you to create awesome animations with this widget. So let us see what you come up with and have fun creating animations with Muse Animate. Bye!